you have seen how you can set how you can set up dns on stcp and we used cloudflare and you also used you saw how you can do it with your domain name we're going to stick with the domain name for now because that is a setup that we have if you check the dns you'll see that our dns are currently our domain name so if you followed all the steps then yours is also working perfectly the next thing let's see how we can install wordpress on our website we've already set up ssl as well if you go to the front end you can see we've set up ssl our website it's let's encrypt ready so we're going to install wordpress and there is a way to install wordpress if you come here under websites if you go into your web let's just go back if you come here into the website where you want to install wordpress you can click on quick install app and this will install any of this we want to install wordpress site name wordpress sample wordpress account username i'll just call it wp admin but don't use this use something that is more secure than that wordpress account email i will use this email can be used to recover your password if you forget your login info. WordPress account password. Let's generate a password. I'll just copy it and put it here. Install directory. If you want to install WordPress in a directory, you can add a directory here. Okay, if you don't want it to be installed on public HTML on the root folder like it will be, then you can add a directory. And once you do that, there are certain things that you'll need to do. For instance, you'll need to go into your index uh, HTML, into your index.php, and you need to add the directory for where you installed WordPress. I don't know that it's going to automatically do it for you, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it at default. Language, of course, English, database create, database name, you can create database, okay, to, it will be created automatically, or you can use a specific database name, then database password you can generate and create. And later on, I'll show you how you can access this database once you've created them. So let's just click on install to use the default settings. I hope there won't be any problems now that we've chosen the default settings. WordPress app was installed successfully. Really, that was very fast. Anyway, let's just go to the front end and see. And it has been installed indeed. I will log in with the username and password. Make sure you save them. To log into WordPress, just go to wp-admin. I will use the password that I copied, paste, remember me, and then I will log in. So now that we are logged in, let's create a post, add new, stscp is the best. Then let's make this a heading. You can add a button. Link has here. I think that is there. STRCP website. Is it STR.com? HTTPS. Let us just confirm this. Best and go. All right. That is a website. <laughs> I didn't want to mess that up. So I'm just going to open in a new tab. And let's publish our beautiful blog post. Publish. Let's go and view our post. Okay, so this is what I wanted. You can see our, what's this called? Our permalink is not permalink. 
we need pretty permalinks. So I will go back into the dashboard. I will come into settings. Where is it? Is it under reading settings? No, it's under permalinks. It's under permalinks. The permalink settings are under permalinks. I will choose post name and then I will save. I want pretty permalinks. So let's just refresh. We are going to get a 404. We are not going to we are not getting a 404. We are being redirected. That is fantastic. This website is running on Nginx and PHP FPM. We are not using Apache. We are using Nginx and PHP FPM using HTACP. So you can see how easy this is. If you're a freelancer and you need to host multiple websites for your clients, if this is like a service you offer, yeah, I will build your website and host it for you. You can use HTACP to do that. You can see how easy it is to install a new website and you can just start designing the website for them. Let's say you want to add a second website and the second website we're going to add, I'm not going to add a, a full domain, but the process of adding a website is just the same. I'm going to add a subdomain for this because I don't want to go into any of my domains and change the name servers. That is the only reason, the only reason I'm going to use a subdomain. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to come back here and I will go into web and let's add another website. So to add a second website is as easy as click on add web domain. So the web domain I want to add is a subdomain. Let's add shop.bizanosa.club. If you're adding a second domain, you can add it like this and all the records will be added for you. So I will create DNS zone and I will save. And as soon as I do that, let's see if the website has been added since we are using our own. Okay. What did I click on? What did I click on? I'm supposed to, okay. Instead of taking me here, let's go back to web. I want to go to the front. I want to visit the public site. So let me click on that. Let's see if everything has been set up. You can see since we are using our own name servers, it has been set up. However, on Cloudflare, if you are using Cloudflare, you'd need to go back to Cloudflare and add and add the record for this and to add the record for this is pretty easy let me just show you because i i think i'm still logged into cloudflare so i'll just go into cloudflare once you go into the website go into dns and we need to add all the records for this let's go into dns and let's see the records that have been set up for shop.bizanosa.club since this has been set up here some of these are the same as the one for the same as the one for the main domain which is bizanosa.club the only thing that is not the same is www we need to add this and then we also need to add the a record we also need to add the a record for it i'm going to come into cloudflare let me copy the ip address i need the ip address copy so if you want the website to show up online you're going to come in here under add record and you'll add an a record and the name will be the subdomain, which is shop. And then you'll add the IP address there and you'll save. And then most importantly, you need to add www as well. So you can add www as an A record or as a C name, but I'm going to add it as an A record this time round. And I'm going to add it as www dot shop www.shop and then we're going to paste and as soon as you paste you're going to save so these two uh, this and this are for our subdomain so if you are using cloudflare right now if somebody goes to shop and ww the website will show up because they're being directed correctly now you can add the other records this mx records you need to add mx and then the txt records as well if it is different no, I don't think it's different since we're using the IP, the, this will not be different. You need to add this as well. I think this is for SPF and then DMARC, add these ones as well, these TXT records. Now to add the TXT records, you'll just copy the entirety, copy, and then you'll come back here and add a TXT record, T, TXT, and you add the value there. That is the value that you got from there. And then you need the record itself. Copy. Now this is important for mail delivery. If your email is going into spam, make sure you 
see how to add DMARC for your domain and then you can save. So since my domain, my HSTCP is handling all the DNS records, I don't need to worry about any of that. As soon as I set up this website and I click on add DNS zone, all that will be dealt with by HSTCP. So for me, the next thing that I, I want to do is install WordPress again because this video is about installing multiple websites on your Hestia panel. So we already have that WordPress. Let's install WordPress here again. I'll just click there to edit or you can click on the name. I'll click on quick install and I will choose WordPress. You can install any of these others. Generate the password for me. Account email. Always add a working email because this is what you'll use to to get your login information if you forget it then install directory just install it in the root directory everything else i will leave as default and then i'm just going to click there on install oh something i should have done is i should have enabled ssl but it doesn't matter we can do that next wordpress has been installed let's go back just to confirm we'll go to the front end to make sure that wordpress has been installed and you can see our WordPress is not SSL active. So we're going to go back and we need to edit it. Let's edit it so that you can set up SSL. I'm just going to go into enable SSL for this domain and we're going to use Let's Encrypt and then I'm going to save. There we go. Now SSL is set up. Let's go back to the site and see if this will reflect in the front end. And we don't even need to do anything. It will automatically redirect it to the SSL version. Now, the issue that we still have on this end is we need to make this uh, we need to make this pretty link friendly. So let's log into our front end to our back end. WP admin. Login. Our two WordPress are running on HSTCP. If you need to add another one, you know how to do it by now. Just click there, add a website, add the domain. If you have one IP on your server, choose the IP, create DNS zone. And since you're using your HSTCP for the for the DNS, then you don't need to do much. You All you need to do is this. You can also enable mail. If you're on Valtra, I'm doing this tutorial on Valtra. If you're on Valtra, then you'd need to contact Valtra and tell them to open up port 25 or you can go online and figure out how to change SMT port, SMTP port from port 25 to a different port. Let's go back. The objective for this course, for this tutorial, for this video has been achieved. You wanted to see how to install multiple WordPress on your Hestia. You've seen how to do it. So let's continue with another thing. And in the next setup, I'm going to back up this and then we can go back into our SSH to see how we can how we can import this into our server. How we can import our backup into a server.